I want to bring in a lawyer uh, into the conversation just to get a perspective of what, what, what should happen and what should have happened now, now that they, we've seen the video. Uh, Martin Quibble joins us right now. Martin, uh, I, I'm going to proceed on the assumption that you've watched this video. If you have, give me your reaction to it. Well, I'm very disappointed, uh, Evans, to say the least. It's, it's despicable. But uh, notwithstanding all the conversations we've had in the last few months, specifically, you remember there's a DC currently in court because of uh, election related corruption, Cecilia Dapas case, where she's had millions of CDs and dollars that she cannot explain or account for. And yet this, this, uh, this MP would seek to influence uh, electoral officers. So it's quite disappointing, extremely. And so I would uh, urge the DC to report the case to the OSP. I say OSP because what we see in the video is the envelope, which I understand he has admitted contains money. And so we are looking in the direction of election corruption. And once it's corruption, then it means that it's the OSP that has to go into the matter. Okay. Not the police. And give me a comment on what the EC has done so far. They issued a statement saying they've withdrawn the two, but they're investigating. We just heard from the director of electoral services says, well, if it comes necessary, in essence, they'll bring in the police. Should the police be, should, should, what, do you, what do you make of that approach? No, that is wrong. That is wrong. Don't, don't forget, Sribwal Kweku is not an expert on crime. And so we shouldn't take his word as the gospel, or let's say as uh, the best. No, he's an elections expert, but not uh, an expert on governance and uh, crime. Look, that envelope we saw, it's embarrassing Ghana. It's embarrassing that this thing is going to go around all the whole world. And so if this thing doesn't get punished, we are going to suffer democracy-wise, good governance-wise. We will suffer. So we need to hold Mr. Nyako accountable. EC should send their report to the OSP. Alternatively, OSP also, uh, you know, they, they monitor the airwaves. So I'm sure by now they've heard. So we are calling upon Mr. Kisie Jabin to step in. Please. We can't miss out the, the doctor Sribo Kwaku can't say that, that if they find it necessary. Don't forget, this is an EC that in recent times has been hiding other cases of crime. You remember the DVD machines. But for the intelligence gathered by NDC, they decided to hide the, the, the missing the DVDs, etc. And then also you seen the story, Frank Nkujo, Imani, they've done. The DVDs that they were, they sold out over a thousand of them without informing us. So the EC currently is a crime scene. The EC is a crime scene. So the, uh, Dr. Kweku cannot be heard to say those things he said. He cannot be heard to say it so. Because he has shown in recent times that, look, he's not up to scratch when it comes to good governance. In actual fact, the whole of the EC setup, they, they, they are quite, uh, what do you call it? They are, they, they are a retrogression of our democracy. So we will beg the OSP to step in. And, and again, it's been a few hours since this video was captured by our cameras. Surprised that we haven't heard anything from the police, surprised that the OSP hasn't stepped in yet, considering the gravity of what we are talking about here. We've said that if this election was happening in a swing constituency and the NDC was involved, this could have catastrophic consequences for our democracy and for our peace and security. And, and yet we haven't seen any movement at all from the state agencies actually cloaked with the authority to investigate and prosecute such alleged crimes. Well, Evans, to be honest, I mean, from my experience, I, I think OSP will step in. Yeah, Mr. Kisie Jabin, the gentleman that I know. Of course, I've had my own differences with him about the way he purportedly let Ibuwa him off, the influence peddling. I am prepared to sue a Jabin in court. I'll take him on. That's a different matter. But the Ibuwa him case aside, generally, Kisie Jabin is, uh, well, what do you call He's proactive. So I expect that he will step in. For the police, I'm not surprised. Because Evans, as we speak now, look, engineer can be a nine, and then Kwame uh, Sakwensi and Adam Senanu. 
We reported Chairman Wood to the police over a year and a half ago about the Galamse in the Kano Nimiri Forest, a case in which Abu Jinapo, Lands and Forestry Minister, came out to say uh, Chairman Wood to me, Akunta Mining had no license to enter the forest. Yet, uh, DCOP, Faustina, and Dokofi has not sent this case to court. This is the same case in which Martin Avis, CEO of the Minerals Commission, and these are appointees of Ekufuadu, also came out to say the same thing. Yet, and Kofi hasn't seen it uh, right to take the case to court. So for police, I'm not surprised. You know, the IG himself has lost a lot of confidence because of the leak tape. So he's, I mean, you know, these things happen. So for police, I'm not surprised. But I believe with uh, Kisie Jabin in the coming hours, they will be stepping in. Okay. Because this is one clear case that we need to deal with to send a, a signal, the right signal to people that this election, vote buying, etc., must stop. Nobody builds a nation like this. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, lawyer Martin Kbibu there giving us your thoughts on this particular uh, incident. I'm